Hi, uh, Bill Kim here. I pastor the Congregational and the Presbyterian Churches here in Clarion, Iowa. And we've been doing, uh, for a little while now, a little blurb, a little sermon summary uh, for our friends who uh, think that 15 or 17 minutes is too long. We'll try to knock the sermon down to two or three minutes. So today, I missed Pentecost Sunday last Sunday. I was out of town doing a wedding. And so they let me talk about Pentecost Sunday today, the week after official Pentecost. And um, there was a lot emotionally for me in this sermon, but um, one of the most powerful things I found this week was a writing by Brian Doyle. He wrote this piece on September 10th of 2014, and he writes um, about uh, what we saw following the attacks of 9-11 in 2001 Specifically, it's called Leap, and he writes about the people leaping out of the towers. He talks about, um, it's very uh, raw kind of writing. It's very difficult in some ways, but in other ways, very inspirational and encouraging. Um, he writes about those leaping out of the towers, but he uh, narrows in on the man and the woman who held hands and leaped out of the towers. And he writes, writes these words. I try to whisper prayers for the sudden dead and the harrowed families of the dead and the screaming souls of the murderers, but I keep coming back to his hand and her hand nestled in each other with such extraordinary, ordinary, succinct, ancient, naked, stunning, perfect, simple, ferocious love. Their hands, reaching and joining, are the most powerful prayer I can imagine, the most eloquent, the most graceful. It is everything that we are capable of against horror and loss and death. I think Doyle is right on. I think the coming of God's Holy Spirit is a reminder that God wants to hold our hand. That's what the coming of the Holy Spirit reminds us of. That God wants to be a part of our everyday life, inside us, with us, walking with us, holding our hand in the best and the worst moments of our lives. And that Holy Spirit also means, if He's holding my hand, God, then what can I do with my other hand? I can hold someone else's hand in their difficult, horrific struggles, in their joy and their celebrations. Really, this Christian life, this coming of the Holy Spirit, this being the people God wants, wants me to be, it's about holding on to God's hand and holding on to others' hands. As Doyle so eloquently says, that is the best prayer ever. That is the best statement ever about the Christian life. That's what Pentecost is about. Us holding God's hand and then holding on to others. Wouldn't our world be a different place if that were true? May that be so in our lives. Amen.